Hi, this is Vlad Karpel with Tradespoon, where we do the research for stocks. Today I'd like to discuss current market conditions. Uh, last week was a very volatile week, uh, week, so I would recommend everybody to stay alert and try to hedge your portfolio. The export data from China came in last week, which was down 18%. The copper prices are also down and been lost for the past two years. Uh, at some point, Janet Helen did say that the raise of uh, interest rate might be postponed until the middle of 2015. Uh, earnings season has started. Uh, Alcoa has made the earnings announcement, which beat the analyst a estimates. Wells Fargo made the an announcement that beat an estimates. But the stocks were stolen, and the stocks were actually, Alcoa was down 2% on Friday. So the sense of cautious optimism is in the market. And last week, you saw the indiscretionate selling which occurred on Thursday and Friday where we had a triple digit losses. The Nasdaq closed um, below 100 day moving average and S&P closed below 50 day moving average. You also saw the sell off in a small cap growth stocks and Russell 2000 closed below 100 day moving average. So all of these are signs of uh, cautious uh, optimism and everybody has been talking about 10% to 8% um, sell-off and market correction. Whether it's going to happen now or whether it's going to happen in the middle of summer, nobody can predict that. And as earnings season started and a lot of companies like uh, Microsoft and uh, Google are making an announcements, you want to be careful and make sure you protect your portfolio. The most common way to protect your portfolio is either go to cash or you can protect your portfolio by using options, VIX options, where as fear is elevated, the price of VIX index, the fear indicator is going up, so you can buy a call spread, or you can sell, or you can buy a put spread on S&P 500 buying SPY options. Both of these are a great way to hedge your portfolio, and you can look at the max drawdown of your portfolio, estimate what the amount of that is, and take a certain percentage, 5, 10% of that max drawdown, and invest into these options. Buying put spreads on S&P or buying call spreads on WIX are a great way to hedge your portfolio. And the reason we're doing spreads at uh, Tradespoon is because the volatility is elevated. So if stock market is chopped and just stuck in the middle, your options will probably expire worthless. So buying straight out options, the probability of being successful is very low. So you want to look at the estimated move of the stock market and you want to see uh, the volatility. And to avoid to neutralize the volatility, make sure your portfolio is hedged, you can just buy in the money call spread for VIX or at the money put spread for S&P. Why? And again, for further research, you can go to tradespoon.com and look at the, our trade ideas and look at the research that we do at Tradespoon. Thank you very much and I'll see you next week. Thank you.